got in the workshop with me today, it's Lou from Food Is Free. So tell us about it, Lou. Sure, Food Is Free Laneway is run beside my property. Basically, it's just a space for the community to drop off their surplus food. I grow some food as well. And it's a really lovely place for people to connect as a community hub. And all of the materials that we use in the laneway are actually recycled as well. Brilliant. Well, speaking of recycling, now that you're in the workshop, you get to be hands on and we can give this back to the laneway. Um, it's a really simple herb box. I thought that would work. And I've drawn up a really basic plan for us to follow. Are you ready to get started? That sounds fantastic. Kim, let's do it. Lou has created a space that's easy access for everyone of any cultural background. We not only get to exchange food and um, share recipes, to chat and to get to know each other and that they, they can belong. Lou, you're looking so comfortable with this drilling, but we've still got a few more to do. But tell me about how you manage the Big Food is Free project. Well, the funny thing about sustainability, Kim, is you actually have to sustain it. So we're really blessed. We've got 30 amazing volunteers who come along and actually keep the place safe and clean. So it's a real community effort. So I simply just make sure it's clean and tidy and uh, apply water or fertiliser in the hotter months and just ensure that the place is always safe and a good environment for other workers to do their job as well. flush in the front, we're going to mark it with the pencil at the back, but you have such amazing people down in the Food is Free laneway. It is incredible, all flavours of the rainbow. We sometimes have up to a hundred people a day come down. It's amazing the diversity of people who come along and it shows a real reflection of actually how many different backgrounds we do have in the community. So it's a great excuse for people to come and actually bond over food, over seasonal produce and discuss recipes. Um, and just actually have a connection. It's really nice. Having access to fresh vegetables, fresh herbs, just so interesting to see such a sustainable uh, plan too for the future, you know? You, there's plants here that aren't in fruit at the moment, but they will be in a few months' time. Support it, share it on Facebook, uh, come round, see what you can find. There's all sorts of treasures here. I can't believe we made this together, Kim. What an awesome project. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, yeah. You should be certainly pleased with your... <laughs> the two grand ladies. They're ama they are great women yeah. to me. So I've got them in to do a challenge a little bit later on. And just like you, they're going to smash it out. So, But tell me about the future of Food is Free. Sure, we've got some great plans coming up for the laneway. We're looking at how sustainability classes particularly targeted at disadvantaged people. So we're looking at having basic uh, gardening classes, things like this, how to DIY, as well as cooking classes. Well, that's great, Lou. But if you'd like to know more about setting up your own Food is Free, then contact Lou and her team through their website or their Facebook page. Mm -hmm.